Here you guys say, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like almost stars. Yankees fans, today is the day. Today is Manny Machado Day. Celebrated all over New York City. Even the Mets fans are waking up from their uh, weed-induced uh, comas on their sofas, and they are at the edge of their seats. Everybody wants to know if Manny Machado is going to sign with the New York Yankees. Here's why the Yankees have the best chance. And this is why they're the front runners, even though the Yankees, in my opinion, are going to offer him the minimum contract compared to these other offers that Manny Machado is going to receive. You could say the place where Manny Machado comes from, Miami, grew up, raised, is very similar to New York City. They call it really the sixth borough of NYC. Manny Machado has said numerous times, if he had the opportunity to sign with the Marlins, he would have signed with the Marlins. Obviously, the Marlins are saving money. They are in a rebuilding mode. Obviously, <laughs> Manny Machado is 26 years of age, and you would consider him young. Obviously, Manny Machado does not fit in their plans now because Manny Machado is going to bank. So with that being said, that's one advantage that the Yankees have. Here's another advantage. Manny Machado's family is Dominican. A big old Dominican population here in NYC. Obviously, his family members, a lot of them are Yankees fans. If you saw the previous All-Star game, we all saw his little nephew. A question was asked, where do you want to see Manny Machado traded to? And his little nephew said, the New York Yankees. So I'm not saying I'm a private investigator that I know that Manny Machado's family members are Yankees fans. But it's quite obvious that Manny Machado has been wanting to become a Yankee for quite some time now. There's a whole bunch of options that the Yankees could take when negotiating a contract with Manny Machado. You can see a contract where they're paying Manny Machado the minimum. Then it increases year by year as the Yankees try to stay under the luxury tax. Because that's the Yankees' main goal, guys. If you can't see that by now, then I don't know what to tell you. The Yankees want to stay under the luxury tax. So let's say Manny Machado accepts the Yankees' offer. You're going to see the Yankees trying to train away players to relieve salary. Maybe a Jacoby Ellsbury, a Sonny Gray, or even the name that triggers a lot of Yankees fans, John Carlos Stanton. You're going to see the Yankees make moves like this if they are 100% on board in signing Manny Machado, and if Manny Machado is 100% on board with wanting to play for the Yankees. The Yankees and Machado match up perfectly. Manny Machado obviously likes it here in NYC. Maybe his wife likes it here. Obviously, I know for a fact that his family is going to like it here or likes it here. It is the perfect match. And I don't see Manny Machado picking another team over the Yankees, even if the Yankees offer him the minimum contract compared to, let's say, if the White Sox, the Phillies offer him over $300 million for 10 years or whatever. Or it might be lower because these mainstream media guys are really, if you ask me, it kind of looks racist. They are really writing horrible hit pieces on Manny Machado and they are driving his price down. Hey, I'm not saying that Harper, who's fought his teammates, who's had a reputation of being really a cancer in the clubhouse. I don't see the same thing happening with him. So before people get mad at that, if you know my political ideology, I'm the last guy to say such a thing. But it's quite obvious what's happening with Manny Machado and the hit pieces that are going on towards Manny Machado. I'm not saying it's coming from any organization, but really they have grabbed his comments and really decreased his value. But you could say Manny Machado is responsible for his comments, but like I said, the same thing is not being done for Harper. And I'm not saying it should be done. I think these writers, I think these news publications should just let it go. Because like I said, even if you don't view it some sort of way, other people are going to view it some sort of way. And you're putting out the narrative, let's say if you are a little kid, just as Manny Machado grew up in Miami, let's say a kid of color that Major League Baseball is trying to attract, they want minorities to play baseball again. You're setting a bad example saying, hey, if you say something that we don't agree with or whatever, when it comes time for you to get paid, we're going to run a whole bunch of negative articles about you. And even if you're talented, one of the best in the game, 
we're going to decrease your value and take money from you. In my opinion, that's a bad example. But hey, that's just my opinion. So Yankees fans, I am going to try to give you videos or photos when Manny Machado is seen in public in NYC with the Yankees. So stay tuned to this channel. If you have friends or families, whatever, co-workers, tell them to subscribe to NYY News. I will have that footage for you. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. It is Manny Machado Day. And like always, share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you all next time.